report. Good afternoon, I'm Elliot Rodriguez in the CBS4 newsroom, and we're following a dangerous situation right now in the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade. You see that gray pickup truck is being followed by police units in the air, and this is the information we're getting right now from Miami-Dade police. They say that this is an apparent stolen vehicle and that the Broward Sheriff's Office has been involved in following this vehicle, uh, we believe from Broward County, but right now in Northwest Miami-Dade, you can see the truck is going on the right side of the road, uh, taking red lights, uh, driving at a high rate of speed. The last location that we had was eastbound on Northwest 135th Street and 22nd Avenue, again, in Northwest Miami-Dade. Now, we have not seen any uh, police units on the ground. What we do know is that there are police units in the air following this dark gray Ford pickup truck, which police say is wanted in a stolen vehicle case uh, being investigated by the Broward Sheriff's Office. But again, you can see the situation. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, dismissal time, and this car is weaving in and out of traffic, going at a high rate of speed, taking stop signs and red lights. Uh, we Again, we have not seen any police units on the ground, but we do know, there it is right there, going right next to a uh, school bus and through that intersection, blowing through that red light. Uh, we do know that there are units in the air following this pickup truck in a case of a stolen vehicle investigation. We apologize for the picture going in and out, but this is a live picture from Chopper 4 right now over this uh, case where police are following the vehicle. It's technically, we're not calling it a chase because there are not police units on the ground literally chasing this unit, but you can see uh, this driver is acting very much like somebody who is being chased by police, uh, driving recklessly in and out of traffic, weaving around heavy traffic. I'm told now by our assignment desk that this is 19th Avenue, cross 19th Avenue in West, uh, Northwest Miami-Dade and turning into some side streets now going into what appears to be a residential neighborhood. So again, a very dangerous situation unfolding right now uh, uh, in the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade. This is a dark gray Ford pickup truck going at a high rate of speed, which is being followed in the air by units from Miami-Dade Police and the Broward Sheriff's Office also involved in this investigation. Uh, this has been going on for the, the better part of 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the car has been on ground uh, streets for the most part here. At one point, it was at Northwest 119th Street and 37th Avenue, later on 135th Street. But again, uh, just flying through intersections, going through red lights and, and traffic signs, past school buses and into residential neighborhoods. Uh, again, the police are in the air following the vehicle. Uh, we don't know how many people are inside this truck, but we know that it is at the center of an investigation into a stolen vehicle and driving extremely dangerous right now in, on the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade. Uh, now, again, we have not seen any police units on the ground. We have not seen Miami-Dade units, uh, Broward uh, Sheriff's Office units, or the uh, Miami Gardens Police Department, but we do know that there are units in the air that are following it, so this guy cannot get away because the police uh, are right behind them or right on top of them, literally, with uh, police helicopters. We also have Chopper 4 up in the air. You can see he just made a, a very dangerous left turn into that uh, neighborhood right there, just blowing by other cars and blowing by intersections. And again, a very dangerous situation unfolding this afternoon in Northwest Miami-Dade. Uh, we... Uh, I, a school speed zone, our assignment desk telling me that the car just flew by a school speed zone. You can see there is a school on the left. And uh, again, school let out just a few minutes ago in Miami-Dade County. Uh, and at one point, well look, at, look, well, look what's happening here. That, and there is a police car right in front of him. And there he keeps going at a high rate of speed. And that appears to be a school zone that he just flew past. So again, this is a, a pickup truck at the center of a stolen vehicle investigation. We do not know how many people are inside this truck, 
but it is at the center of this pursuit. You saw, saw the helicopter uh, flying by there, Chopper 4. It is at the center of this investigation. But again, we have not seen a single police car on the ground uh, following this vehicle or chasing this vehicle, but this driver is going at a high rate of speed. There's a bicyclist. There are people that are on crossing that intersection. Very, very dangerous what's happening here. 7th Avenue and 441, Northwest 7th Avenue and State Road 441 in Northwest Miami-Dade. It just went under Interstate 95 and it's under those trees right now, so we cannot see what's happening with that uh, pickup truck. Let's see, uh, you can see that sign there. It looks like there's a school nearby. We're told that the car has crashed. Uh, it's hard to see from this vantage point because of the trees. But I'm being told by our assignment desk that the truck has crashed. There's a white car that is damaged, and we're waiting to see if anybody comes out of that vehicle. But again, this is in a residential neighborhood. In the middle of the afternoon, you can see that sign there indicating that there's a school nearby. And this has been an extremely dangerous situation unfolding on the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade. The units are in the air right over this situation. And I'm thinking that pretty soon we're going to see some police units on the ground. There's the white car that apparently uh, crashed with this pickup truck. Uh, we're told that the driver has bailed out, but again, it's hard to see from this vantage point, but we're told the driver of the pickup truck has bailed out. So at any minute, there you go. There are the police units right now. Uh, so we're expecting an arrest uh, very quickly. Again, this car was uh, uh, the center of a stolen vehicle investigation, and this activity is taking place now underneath those trees. So hard to tell what is happening, but again, this was a pursuit involving uh, air units uh, from Miami-Dade and also the Broward Sheriff's Office involved in this investigation. And we believe that uh, police may have the suspect under that tree, but from this vantage point, it is difficult to see what is happening there. And we believe that he is the person, may be handcuffed, but it's hard to tell right now. So just bear with us. This is live television, folks, and we are watching this unfold as you are. But again, very, very disturbing images earlier of that car going at a high rate of speed on the surface roads, on the highway there in Northwest Miami-Dade. We're getting a, a bit of a closer shot now uh, of the scene where the uh, police are gathered right now. Uh, we believe that uh, they may be taking that suspect uh, into custody at any moment now. So we're just going to stick with this live picture as we see more police units arriving there. Again, the, uh, the, the pursuit was mostly in the air by the Miami-Dade Aviation Unit. They were following uh, the car through Northwest 119th Street, 37th Avenue, later on 22nd Avenue, just making uh, illegal turns, going at a high rate of speed, driving extremely dangerously on the roads, going through at least one or two school zones and then finally coming to a stop after hitting a white car that was at this intersection. We do not have a, an exact location of where this chase came to an end, but we know that uh, there is a big police presence there, and we believe that the driver of that car is now uh, in custody. So we're just going to let this play out, but you can see right there, between the trees, the between the trees there is someone who ap uh, appears to be in handcuffs. So. Uh, that appears to be the conclusion of this very dangerous uh, situation unfolding this afternoon. There you can see, you can see the uh, person there, police putting uh, some material there on the, on the hood of that police car. And you see the person now with the, his hands behind his back. He is handcuffed. Uh, the uh, truck damaged after hitting a white vehicle. It's under that tree. We don't have an exact location of where this is happening. But again, this is all unfolding on live television. We are streaming this on our CBS News Miami platform. Uh, we also are live on uh, CBS News Miami, bringing you the very latest from uh, Northwest Miami-Dade, parts of Miami, of Miami Gardens. Again, this was uh, extremely disturbing to see, uh, but the uh, police very carefully following this car, uh, this pickup truck from the air, and then at, when it came to a stop, the police in just a matter of seconds were there. We're getting a, uh, we're getting a location now. So it came to, uh, to an end at Northwest 5th Avenue and 100 and 130th Street.
Northwest 5th Avenue and 103rd Street is the location given by our assignment desk. So there you have the driver right there in custody in handcuffs. We have CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor on his way to the scene uh, to provide us with more details beginning on CBS News Miami at 5 o'clock. But again, we brought this to you because there's a very dangerous in, uh, situation that unfolded on the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade. You can see the uh, Miami-Dade officer there. There are other police units there. We believe that Miami Gardens was involved and also the Bribe Sheriff's Office involved in this uh, and following this pickup truck this afternoon. All this began is uh, reports of police getting a license plate read on what they believe to be a All right, we're getting this information uh, from our uh, assignment desk has began as a result of police getting a license plate read on a stolen, on an alleged stolen vehicle. So uh, we're watching the situation unfold. Again, we have CBS News Miami's uh, Yvonne Taylor on the way. He will provide uh, full reporting on CBS News Miami at 5 o'clock. And also, don't forget our quick cast on CBS News Miami, our streaming service. Uh, we're going to have a report coming up in uh, about 45 minutes. So we've got you covered both on air, online, and streaming. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. I'll see you on CBS News Miami beginning at 5 o'clock and on our quick cast.